Hi, it's Rashida. I thought I would come on and show you guys my June project life. And I am on my second album for this year. And I generally do two albums per year. And so this is the one that, um, my first one. And I'll continue with another one just like this. I already have um, one set up already to go from July through December to complete 2014. So, for, for the month of June, I did a photo challenge, and um, I did the photo challenge by Fat Mom Slim, I believe. I'll leave the link below to her blog, and she creates monthly photo challenges um, to sort of inspire you to take photos each day. And so I thought at this point, um, I've been going weekly and I thought a photo challenge would give me sort of a different twist on what photos to take or just to sort of look at my photos differently. <clears throat> so um, that's one idea if you think you're gonna fall off the Project Life bandwagon which this time of year it's my most vulnerable time of doing that so that's why I wanted to do a photo challenge so I did just a title card I guess you could say a title page for June just so people that flip through my album if they notice all of a sudden there are no week numbers and they see months so you know that would give them an indication that I switch from weekly to monthly if anybody looking through my album would actually care about that. But anyway, so I just used a wood veneer, some letter stickers, and um, just made a title page. And it's blank on the back, and this is just eight and a half by 11. This is the, um, the front side is the Maggie Holmes paper from Michaels. It's either Maggie Holmes or Craig paper. And the back is the Amy Tangerine paper. So I did a process video on this page spread already, and like I said, it's just picture of food throughout the month of July, I mean the month of June, sorry. Um, so yeah, I just did some sewing, just some embellishments, different things. I put a recipe card in here for the baked chicken that I made, so. And yeah, on the back, and like I said, if you want to see more detail, you can check out the process video so sorry I'm using a different camera angle so I can't quite get it all in yeah so um so I did an insert and this is just a photo of me and my mom in the car and I just did some journaling about that uh, did some stamping just my usual stuff and this is just a photo of the sunset, and I used the Ally Edwards stamp and stamp directly on the photo. And I think I used stays on on here for that. Um, just some random pictures, a photo of a trolley downtown, some stickers on a filler card, and a picture of um, some crab legs. And I did, I don't know if you can tell, but I used one of those brads that I got from, where was it, uh, Island Outlet. So, it's actually a brad, and I took the brad piece off, and I just used a glue dot and put it on there. Uh, Studio Calico stamp, just labels. This is a Gossamer Blue stamp, so... That's that insert, and I wanted to include something about Father's Day, so I just included a brochure, not a brochure, but a bulletin from church. Um, I also included some handwriting, a grocery list from my dad. That's his handwriting, and you know, I like to keep little things like that. And I just stamped on here Daddy's grocery list for fruit dessert because he was making a fruit dessert for that week. And I just included like a random recipe that I got. So, and this is a basic gray. 
album page protector and it just fits right in with my other stuff. For the first time I printed a 8.5 by 11 photo from my photo printer and I'm still getting used to it. Um, this is from my larger format <clears throat> photo printer and so I really didn't want like a border but like I said I'm still playing around with it. This is just a picture of my uncle my uncles and my sister and my dad and I just did some stamping, added some stickers and did some journaling down here on a tag. So just little random stuff. And again this is eight and a half by eleven. And on the back I used one of these SEI expansion pocket pages. And just in case if you need the number to check them out. So this is just a uh, photo of my sister and my nephews and me and my dad just added some stickers and then so what I did the photo pocket has that adhesive you can see that and I just placed it onto the page and it just becomes like a little flip just like that. And that's just a photo of me. I did some stamping. And this page, since I had the 8.5 by 11 photo on the back side, here I just did some random embellishments um, just to kind of make it look a little smashy. So washi tape, uh, Polaroid frame stickers, stamps, all of that. So, so that's that. And then this is the last page for June. Um, so throughout, like I said, I did a photo challenge and sometimes I would label whatever the challenge was for that day. So one day was pastel and I just took a photo of my new purse and my new sunglasses and just journaled about that. That's just a filler card from Amy Tangerine's Plus One line. Um, I got some new cosmetics and I just journaled about that so just did some stamping that's the Ali Edwards stamp and just put thank happy thoughts with some letter stickers and one of the other photo prompts was sun flare and that's just a picture of the sun reflecting off my bracelet and just another filler card and Another filler card with some stamping. I think that is, um, where's that? I'm not exactly sure where that halo is from. I thought it was Hike Swap, but it may not be. It may be Simple Stories or something like that. And this, I think one of, one of the photo prompts was like morning or Sunday morning or something like that. So I just took a picture of the bed and just did some stamping and some label stickers for that. And on the back, um, another filler card. This is uh, Studio Calico stamp for the days of the week. Another photo prompt was in the shadows. And so I took a picture of me standing by a window with the reflection of the blinds um, creating a shadow. And let's see. I noted that two piece was closing and I just took a snapshot or a screenshot of my profile from the, from their website and just documented that and I just did some journaling about that and I stamped ugh because <laughs> that's kind of how I felt at the time so but anyway um, another photo prompt was growing and I just took a photo of the front yard like with all the plants and flowers and things like that growing at this time of year and another filler card with the label sticker. Um, here, just me at the dentist. Um, I downloaded Pandora to my phone and was listening to that, you know, as they did, you know, whatever they had to do. <laughs> and then the last photo prompt was bye. And I just put, I took a picture of the sky and I stamped see you June on that. So that is it for June. So yeah, um, 
like I said, you know, if you feel like you're taking photos of the same thing every day or you're not inspired to take photos throughout the month, try a photo challenge and it may help. So like I said, I'll leave the link to the blog below and you can find all the information about um, Fat Mom Slim's photo challenge. I think it's Fat Mom Slim. <laughs> I think. Um, but anyway, the information will be below. So thank you for watching. Bye-bye.